Wasn't expecting to buy a dealer's table at the National, but I'm glad it spread. What's up, man? My kid watches you on YouTube. Ryan, nice to meet you. He had there was one thing he wanted me to do. Yeah. Would you be able to sign the tops card of his? Yeah. It's gonna come. Yeah, of course. We got it. We got a sticker for you too. Really? Good. Yeah. There you go, my friend. Cool. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Congrats on the kid, man. Dude. Thanks, my friend. Dude. You good? Dude, I'm tired. Yeah, me too. I'm exhausted. What you got? Brother, I can't afford some of your stuff. You got, you got that expensive taste. That's fine. I trust you. There you go, my friend. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, brother. Everything in here, you? Everything in there. Do you have a number for it all? So last night I went through and like, like say this. The JT's out because I'm the only crazy person that's going to pay over a grand for it. But um, so like on the Pitman, I went through and just took the fluff off. So like the Pitman, I valued at like five instead of seven fifty. Okay. And like some of these, I just took the max fluff off of them. So I came up with like five grand. I did sell about a thousand dollars for the matter. Okay. I did pick up this for about four. So it's like it's right around like forty eight, forty seven hundred in okay. total showcase. Um, yeah, I mean the Richardson's really cool. I like those. Like obviously he sells really well. I like the white sparkle stuff. Dynasty's always cool. Minshew is obviously bigger to you than he is to me. Yeah. But I was thinking in my mind, minus JT, like I think it's like 80% of 4700 is like mysteries, but it's a you know, I'm gonna work with you. Um what did you say you wanted mid threes? What? You wanted mid threes? You need to be high twos? Yeah. Yeah. 28. No JT. Does that work? That works for me. Okay. I wasn't expecting to buy a dealer's table at the National, but I'm glad it's Brad's. Still have three full rows. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Yep. All right, guys. It's been a little slow so far buying deals, but good news is we just got an order back from Beckett. We're going to take a look and see how we did on this submission. Let's see what we got. Let's take a look. All right, so I already see an 8.5 and a 9. That's not ideal, but let's uh, let's see how this how this went. All right, you got a little Deshaun Watson downtown, 9.5, solid, nice. Columbus native, Alexa Bliss, 9.5. All right, well, there's a 9. Josh Allen, Silverado, that's a big card, but not far from gemming, so maybe one day. Hey, there we go, that's actually cool. Uh, doesn't say it on here, but this is actually jersey number out of 35. We picked that up in Shipshawana. Uh, that's unfortunate. 85 Josh Allen. Yikes. 858585. So sounds like that might be an 85 for life. Uh, yuck. T Law 9. All right, there we go. 9510 Greg Maddox 101 Super Auto. I see a nice one right here with a little Justin Herbert. All right, there we go. Herbert out of 2595. Mobley, big summer league, 9.5. We actually pulled that in one of our videos at a 24. Sam Howell, there we go. That's an orange wave at a 60. That's a true gem. Oh, dang, that sucks. Uh, Stroud, 1 to 6 for the PC, but not terrible. Got an 8.5, couple of nines. Should be two of these. There we go. How about that? How about Joe Burrow, explosive, 9.5s. Not bad there. And then a... Best receiver in football, Justin Jefferson. So, not a uh, not a bad submission. A couple, uh, couple misses, but overall, feel pretty good. Watch your video Are we still looking for value stuff, like the 5 to $20? Yeah. I got a yeah. big soccer guy. I'll look. Is there a number you want for it? Or what do I you wrote look? on the side, there's 150 cards. So, and if you look okay. through it, you kind of, I think it's there's 5 to $20 value cards. Okay. I guess it depends what you want. I mean, I think there's some things that are under five. Yeah. And I don't see a ton of the, like the twenty-five dollar type stuff. To me, it's a lot of like two to like seven or eight dollar stuff. Um, I guess it depends. It's cool, but it's not something I could live without. Or I couldn't live without. Any, any interest on it? Oh, uh, it's not that I don't have interest. 
it's just like I don't value it on like the five to twenty five dollar range. Yes. I think a lot of it's like two day bucks. So to me, it's like a depending on what you want for it kind of thing. Six hundred for it. Uh, I think it's a little aggressive. I don't think it's bad. Like you could probably get it, but I think it would pay four fifty. Four fifty. Yeah. That's what I would pay. I'm comfortable with that. Other than that, I'd I'd probably pass. That's fine. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for the deal. John, nice to meet you. Ryan, nice Follow to meet you. you. On Instagram and Thank you. Well. Appreciate that. You like buying? I can take a look. Yeah, sure. What do you want in the Lewis? In the Lewis? I'd take 50. Yeah, I mean, just based on the comps I'm seeing, I would probably pay 40 bucks on it. I mean, I see one that did $52, so I'd probably pay 40 but that's kind of where I'd want to be. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate the deal. Thanks again. Thank you. Where are the deals, Cody? Oh, I don't care. So, Mr. Johnson. Yes. Sure, Mr. Johnson. Oh my God, that's my dad. I got you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Your contact's amazing. Thank you. Thanks. Sure. Right, one, two, three. Thank you. You want a sticker? Yes, please. I got you. I've been watching your contact for a while. Appreciate that. Yeah. You keep up the good work, okay? Right, thank you. You're very welcome. Yep. What's up, man? Uh, I have all the deals. All yeah. The deals. At least you heard me. All right, we bought the Shevchenko Kaboom. Yep. Bought the Clay Matthews. Uh, there's an Ortiz Auto down here in the middle. Cody, what am I at on that? Last Reigns Auto did 405 at bids. What did you sell to me for? 360-300. That's your number or my number? 360-310. My man. Good? Thank you. Um, I'd probably take 30 bucks for all three of them. Sure. All day. Yeah, they're cool. They're all local stuff. I mean, stuff. they're all your area, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hey, look at that, $30 in the pocket. Man, there we go. Beautiful. Best, favorite buy of the day. Thank you. Favorite buy of the yeah, day. Thank you. Live court, everybody's recording. You sure? I'm trying to make sure we, I'm, I'm trying to make sure we avoid zero days since the last mistake. Video's on. Audio's on. Do you guys want to start it since I wasn't here yesterday? Oh, I was gonna, I mean, what? So it feels like. I'll start it, I'll start it. As always, it's kind of like. Yeah, I'll start it. It's not as always anymore. I'll start it this week. You know? Are you ready? Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to Car Talk, the two-man show featuring Lou Janu and Tyler Schmidt. This week, we have uh, a special guest. His name is Ryan Johnson, Car Collector 2. Ryan, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience and say hello. Yeah, hey guys, uh, appreciate you guys having me this week. This is, uh, it's been fun to, you know, fill in here and, you know, just be a part of the show and learn about you guys. And yeah, it's been great. So, I, uh, you know, long time card collector. Yeah. Uh, long time listener of the pod, okay. first time guest, so good, it's, uh, yeah. it's exciting to be here. Ty, what well, do you think, Ryan? We appreciate you taking some time out. Absolutely. Uh, your busy schedule. We know you got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, we don't really, have, we don't, we don't have guests out normally. Okay. So it's, it's, you know, we made an exception. I'm honored. We're excited. Um, honored for sure. Can you start the show off just and yeah. tell us a little bit how the show's been going for you? Early observations. And a, a quick question, is this day two or is this day one because Wednesday's a preview day? No, the public has access on day two, or on day one, which is Wednesday. So okay. this is day two for okay. sure. Day two. Uh, so so yeah. day two, yep. how's the show been day two recap? Yeah, a couple early observations. Um, day two, a lot less buying than day one. Day one was a lot crazier, a lot longer. Um, I feel like it was a little confusing. Yeah, I feel like I made a lot more plays on Wednesday night. Not sure why, but uh, less plays today, more hanging out. Uh, doing some grading, seeing people, lump, lump, you know, chilling. So, yeah. um, but in a in a quick pace manner. It was a, uh, it was certainly not you know, lax hanging out, you know, drinking beers like y'all. I mean, y'all got that vibe going. I'm jealous, but it was a lot more, uh, you know, quick pace I think today. So, all right, guys, that is a wrap here on day two in Chicago at the National. Not quite the buying that we're uh, we're used to here. Uh, I'm not sure we even filled up an entire Zion case, truthfully, where yesterday we got two four-row boxes. So uh, there's plenty of time to make it up. This is a long show, but today was a lot more. Got to meet a lot of new people, 
got to record a podcast, got to get some cards back from grading, got to do a lot of the show exclusive stuff. We got a lot of stuff from Topps and Panini. Uh, so really just a, uh, it was a good day at the National. So it's not always about buying and, you know, buying and selling certainly a lot more to this and i think today was a perfect example of that so we will uh we'll be back at it tomorrow plenty more buying i'm sure a lot of uh, a lot of time left here at this show so stay tuned more cool card content coming soon so i got for now guys peace